So it's that time of year when we need to think about what are we gonna diamond paint for Christmas? Yep, so come on this journey and let's see what I'm gonna diamond paint. Hi everybody, it's Rebecca, back for my third installment of Diamond Art Club for this week. Um, the one that I was going to do in the park, this is the third one I was going to sit there and do in the park. By then I would have melted and so would this canvas because it is frosty. Yes, Diamond Art Club has already named him for me. So cell phone's already off. I have unboxed this one time. Yesterday, I wasn't happy with the camera angle, so we're gonna, this is take two. And I think I improve every time I do it. So if I were to do take five, you would be shocked and amazed. Anyway, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle in a clear bag. This painting, and while I'll do it, I'll talk to you while I'm unrolling it. I did put it back in the bag, so we're going to save that. I wasn't going to order it because I'm not a huge fan of squares. I am actually working on my first Diamond Art Club square painting right now. Um, and that is one of the Graham Gherkins autumn pieces of art. And I'm okay with it, so... I will let you know if I become a fan. But this one, when it, I actually saw someone working on it. Um, they put a, a work in progress photograph on Facebook and I fell in love with it. I said, wow, look at the detail in this painting. It's gorgeous. But by that time it was no longer in stock. So when it did come back into stock, I grabbed it. So this has a really, really wrinkly cover. So let me take the cover and pull this back. So we don't have to look at all those wrinkles. It doesn't mean a thing when it is Diamond Art Club because that canvas is still perfect. Let me turn it over so you can see. It's just some waves in the canvas because of the way it was, it was um, rolled up, but there's no bubbles or anything like that in this canvas. Well, at least it didn't come with any. I'm gonna give it some if I don't, if I'm not careful with it. It is a poured glue too, which you know we all love about Diamond Art Club. All right, you're not supposed to be that way. Come on, stay, stay. Wants to roll back. I'm sorry about you seeing me in the viewfinder. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I think that gives us a good view of this canvas. Now you don't get so many of those wrinkles and look how pretty it is. It's so gorgeous. Let me just show you some of the things that I just love. This is for Sherry, the little squirrel here. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the little squirrel. So cute. There's a white rabbit right next to him. I don't know if you can see the white rabbit. See the little white rabbit there next to the squirrel? What else do we have? So we've got the squirrel. We've got a beautiful white rabbit. We've got one, two, three birds, a deer, a fourth bird. A couple of, I don't know if that's another squirrel there. Another rabbit. This blue jay, look how pretty this bird is. This is the detail that I'm absolutely loving. So this is a canvas by artist, let me just oh, get that off of there. Her name is Donna Gelsinger. Now she did this print and she also did the Santa Claus print. And those are the only two that Diamond Art Club has thus far of hers. She does a lot of work and I looked up her artwork and 
I will show you some of it. She does a lot of, let me get it. She does a lot of this kind of work where you seeing with angel wings. She has a lot of children with angel wings. She does a lot of religious based stuff. Um, in fact, the Santa Claus uh, piece of art she has named Oh Holy Night. Now, Diamond Eye Club changed that name to take out some of the religious connotation to it, which I'm okay with because I'm not overly religious myself, but um, it is the kind of art that she does. So she has a lot of these angels. I'm trying to see what else she has for Christmas. Let's see. Maybe some stuff that we could look forward to. I wouldn't be surprised if Diamond Art Club came out with something, something good. I can't talk. This is a Christmas one that she has with angels. Now, I don't know if they want to get into the religious realm, but wouldn't that be a beautiful canvas? Yeah, gorgeous. So that's just kind of um, a nod to the artist herself. I just, this is the part I fell in love with. When the person posted their work in progress, they had only finished this bottom part. And I said, oh, wow, isn't that gorgeous? So he's already named Frosty. He's got this carrot nose. And there is a surprise in that carrot nose. Let's look at the drills. I am going to put the canvas back, uh, the plastic back, so we can look at the drills. But let me do it the right way. I don't, I hate this plastic. I know Mrs. Coffee loves it. I loathe it. I just hate it. Um, I will take it off and I will put opaque cover on it. Um, I have that opaque cover that we can get from Star Ore and that's really what I use. That way I can look at my painting. For example, you know, this is a Diamond Art Club here that I put opaque covering on. And then I have just worked this corner. So next time I sit down to this painting, I'm gonna use my little cover minder and I'm gonna pull back a next little piece to work on. And that way the canvas reveals itself to me a little bit at a time. I'm in a house with dogs, so the rest of the canvas is covered. Um, and I don't have to worry about dog hair. So that's just how I do it. I just don't like this plastic. Um, and now it's all wrinkled again. Oh well, <laughs> I will fix that afterwards. So, not a lot of 310 here. There is some 310. I say that and, <laughs> have I pulled out the wrong drills? I have, oh my. Okay, these are the drills for yesterday's painting that I so carefully put away. Oh no! let's see if we can get them back into the package. Where are today's drills? Oh, I see them. Okay, look at me, look at me go. Okay, this is the Alice in Wonderland drills. So, wrong drills. Lots of crinkling, and if you don't love crinkling, you're probably not listening to my videos. Here are the correct drills. I knew when I saw four bags of 310, I had the wrong, I had the wrong painting. Because this um, does, it has some, but not a lot. This is it for the 310, this little bag right here. What you're getting though, you're not getting a lot of white. There's a lot of off-white and blue in this painting. So here's your off-white. That's the 3865. Then you've got, the 3325, the blue accenting the white, which is really brings out the effect of snow. I love that. Oh, wow. Three bags of 3325. Wow. Okay. And look, pink. I love pink. 963. Uh, 3755. More blues. Look at that. That blue. Wow. I'm in heaven. Blue. Okay. What else do we got? Well, we have, let's start with this, let's go this way. This does have 38 colors with two ABs. Maybe more, but two. 
at the very least. Okay, we're gonna start out with some orange. There's our glass of wine right there. Follow it up with some a blood donation. That's, you know, the color of uh, blood. And there is our first AB. The snow. So where is that first AB gonna be? 125 is number one. That kind of outlines the snowman. So between the blue and the off-white, you're getting that white AB, which is gonna be so stunning. It's really gonna bring that out. So you got the blues in here, the white ABs, and then the off-white coloring. So pretty. And then, where was I? Okay, so let's see. Let's see the rest of the colors. Blue, orange. This is kind of a burnt orange there. This is a long thing of draws here, my goodness. It's like a chain. Okay, this A18 here, you're going to be very surprised where this goes. This goes all up in here. Let me, let me do the canvas to you. All up in here, where above the snowman, where you're seeing the trees and the sky. That sky right there is this color. That is so cool. I love it. I actually love it. Um, more blue. We have more blue. And then this. Oh, blue green. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And now we're getting into the tree colors here with this almost army green. And then get in, it gets into some really ugly green colors, but that's the tree branches right there. All these all these branches up here that you're seeing, that's those really ugly colors we just saw, but you know, it's gonna look like trees. <laughs> so, that, we've seen that, we've seen that. All right, here's the accent colors. We've got our 666, yay. Got some browns, there's our 310 gray. This is a really cool color like a teal, and there's three different versions of that color. Um, orange, this is the guy that wants to be pink, but it's not quite pink. Browns, grays, oh, look at these purples. That's a deep, deep purple there. Oh no, that's blue. Here's the deep purple. Purples, purple, remember deep purple? Oh yeah. And there, these are just accents in the painting because you're getting very few of these drills. Now here is the second AB and you've got like five of them in his back. Uh, and you know I'm exaggerating, maybe there's 10. Okay, you can hardly see them because there's so few of them in the back. And guess why? Why is that? Because those ABs, have you guessed where those ABs are? Remember I told you earlier there's a surprise in the nose? That is where these orange ABs are going to go. Look at this. Let me hold that up for you. Those orange ABs go in the snowman's nose. Now there's five different colors of orange and red in that nose, but these ABs right here are going on the carrot. Isn't that cool? So that's why they're not giving us a whole lot of them because they're going on the carrot. And then you miss two more colors, purple and more orange, yep. So that is the snowman and it is square. So when I finish my autumn square, I'm gonna get out the Christmas square and get this completed by Christmas, I promise, on my honor. Um, you guys wanna see how I got these back in the container after they've been mangled. Oh, I am so talented. <laughs> I take the bag, smooth it out, and then I measure. And I say, oh, okay. Four of them are gonna fit nicely in that bag. And then I, so I fold it over at four. And I just keep going along here in a big rope and I put it in. I'm like, oh, she's so talented. Oh my God. 
Okay, then I get the second one. And I do the same thing and I kind of measure. Okay, we're gonna get three safely in there. So we're gonna roll, roll it by threes. Yep. That's a big old roll. <laughs> and we're gonna put that in there. See how neatly that's going back in there? And then I take the big bag. It's gonna be three as well. I love that pee. Okay, and then I put that in there. Now I could go to work with diamond airplane. Storing diamonds, right? <laughs> To make minimum wage. Okay. So now what do I do with it? This is going to go back in the box. I'm going to roll it back up, put it back into the paper, and put it in the box to go in my closet with all my other Diamond Art Clubs. Then when I get this out, Diamond Art Club, in the corner, it has next to the model number. I don't know if you can see that. Next to the model number, it has a kit number, DAC716SAB. So I'll get that out and I will go to my super big container that has all my diamonds in it and I will look for DAC. And I'll make sure that that matches this kit. And I'm not doing this kit with Alice in Wonderland colors. And um, I know that seems overly simplified, but that's kind of my storage system. So I'll kit it up and then I'll go to town. So you guys, thanks for coming on this journey with me. That is it for Diamond Art Clips for the week. I will see you live tomorrow night and uh, where I do one hour of my attempt to color. You're gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna miss that really. Because like I said, attempt. So I will see you then or in my next video. Take care.